meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Foggy, humid start out there today. East Providence not able to see much here from our Kettle Point camera due to the fog. We've got visibilities down to about a quarter mile for Smithfield, Providence, Newport, Westerly. Maybe a little slow going on the roads this morning as that fog gradually lifts and thins some. Our live Doppler radar dry locally, but if we widen out the view, here's Tropical Storm Fay. It did strengthen a little bit overnight. We're now looking at 50 mile an hour sustained winds. It's moving due north at 10 miles per hour, and that track is expected to continue. That'll take Take it up towards southeastern New Jersey uh, later in the afternoon hours and evening. It'll move across New Jersey and very close to New York City. From there, western New England going to see the uh, main impacts from this storm, rain and some stronger wind gusts there, and then it'll lift up through northern New England. For our local area, the main impacts will be scattered showers and embedded thunderstorms. Now, there is a risk for some severe weather, and it's typical with these tropical systems that you can spin up a weak tornado. So we'll be watching for that, especially especially at the coastline. While we see some scattered downpours as the day goes on, we do not expect the day as a whole to be a washout. Saturday, things improve pretty quickly in the morning hours. It'll be a breezy day, but it ends up being mostly dry. Right now, 72 degrees in Providence, upper 60s in New Bedford. Winds are calm, but a southeast wind expected for the day, and it turns a little breezy by the end of the day. This is an hour by hour look at the forecast. Middle 70s, 9 o'clock this morning, lower and mid 80s in the early afternoon, and you can see those scattered showers starting to approach from the coastline and then moving inland off and on through the afternoon and evening hours. And there could certainly be some heavier downpours embedded within that through the evening and overnight tonight. And this is what we wake up to on Saturday morning. Temperatures very warm to start middle and upper 70s with some scattered showers. Those taper off. The skies do some clearing and Saturday afternoons highs are going to push into the middle 80s away from the coast. Let's talk beach conditions today. Not the best of beach days. We're looking at fog lingering, low clouds lingering and some scattered showers by midday. Air temperature around 75 at the shore. On the bay, winds will be gusting to 20 knots by the end of the day. High tides at 1238 this afternoon and the wave heights building to two to four feet. Showers and thunderstorms likely through the nighttime tonight with a low of about 71 degrees. So here's a look at the wind forecast and notice those winds starting to pick up some towards the evening. The strongest wind gusts locally will be right along the immediate shoreline. By 11 o'clock, we're gusting 20 to 30 miles per hour and tomorrow morning could see some gusts that are between 30 and 40 miles per hour right along the shore and just off the coastline. Those winds we typically can handle very easily in our area. So we're looking at little to no wind damage at 8 o'clock in the morning and through the day tomorrow winds sustained between 10 and 20 miles per hour from the southeast and gusting to 30. Here's the seven day forecast. As things improve on Saturday, the skies turn partly sunny. It'll be warm and very humid on Saturday afternoon. A heads up if you're thinking of going to the beaches, there's a high rip current risk at our shore tomorrow due to the impacts from Tropical Storm Fay. Air temperature around 77 degrees. It may not be safe for swimming. You want to pay close, close attention. Uh, to what the lifeguards are saying. Sunday's warm, humid highs in the uh, mid to upper 80s, which is an isolated thunderstorm possible. Monday's highs still in the mid and upper 80s. It stays warm all of next week.